What? What are you doing here? Well, I brought my pick and I brought my shovel and I brought a lantern. Yeah, I see. What are you going to do with those? I'm going to go in the woods. I'm going to look me for an X. I'm going to start digging and I'm going to find me some treasure. Treasure that is gold. Gold and silver. Here. That's right, gold and silver, maybe rubies and diamonds. You're not going to find any treasure here. Sure, I saw in the movies. You go in the woods, you look for an X on the ground, you start a day when you're clunk, you know it's a treasure chest, you pull it up, and it's full of gold, gold and silver. Yeah, maybe in the movies, yeah. but it's very rare to find buried treasure. Rare? You mean it doesn't happen very often? Uh, no. Mm. No. Now, do you like pearls? I do like pearls. Pearls are treasure. They're real expensive, too. Those real fine ladies wear them in their necklaces. Well, just wait until you hear today's gospel. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Lots of pearls, lots of riches mm. in those words today. I do like riches, like lots, gold and silver. Lots of buried treasure. Just oh. wait. Okay. You're going to learn all about another kind of buried treasure. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to that. Hi everyone, today we're going to learn some hand motions and we're going to put some feet along with it to our psalm and our gospel acclamation. In today's psalm, we're going to talk about God's word in the verses. And every time we hear the word, word, we're going to bring our hands toward our mouth and just make a motion from our chin out. Word, God's word, as if God is speaking his word, which God does. And then the refrain says, open our hearts, and we're just going to open our hearts with our hands and listen to you. We're going to put our hands behind our ears. Open our hearts to listen to you. Let's try that. Let's try a couple verses, Eric. You have made me king 
in place of my father David. But I don't know any more about being a king than a child would know. And I must serve your chosen people, even though they are a great nation with more people than can be counted. Please, make me wise enough to rule them well and know the difference between right and wrong. No one is really able to rule this great nation of yours. The Lord was pleased that Solomon had asked this, and he said, I will answer your prayer. You will be wise and know more than anyone who has ever lived or ever will live. You didn't ask to live a long time or to be rich. And you didn't ask for your enemies to be destroyed. All you wanted was to be honest and fair. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Okay, are you ready to do our song? Here we go. chosen for his purposes and he has always known who his chosen one would be he had decided to let them become like his own son so that his son would be the first of many children god then accepted the people he had already decided to choose and he has shared his glory with them the word of the lord Let's do the gospel acclamation. Let's stand. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Jesus said to his disciples, 
The kingdom of heaven is like what happens when someone finds treasure hidden in a field and buries it again. A person like that is happy and goes and sells everything in order to buy that field. The kingdom of heaven is like what happens when a shop owner is looking for fine pearls. After finding a very valuable one, the owner goes and sells everything in order to buy that pearl. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we're talking about treasure. Treasure from heaven. The treasure of heaven. In the first reading, God came to King Solomon and promised him anything he wanted. Imagine that. Anything. What can you imagine that you might want? Hmm. By choosing to be wise, which is what Solomon chose, and to rule his people well, God honored his request and granted him wisdom. He granted Solomon wisdom. He could have had money. He could have had jewels. He could have had power. But he chose wisdom instead. We've talked about wisdom before. Wisdom is a certain understanding of how things work. Being wise. Do you know someone in your life who's wise? Maybe your parents, maybe a teacher or a coach. Your Sunday school teachers are wise. In the Gospel reading, Jesus tells more stories that seem simple, but they have a hidden meaning, hidden just like that treasure. Jesus says that the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure that someone found in a field. He buries it, and then he sold everything, everything he had, to buy that field because the treasure was in it. Jesus goes on to say that the kingdom of heaven is also like a shop owner, someone who owns a shop that sells, that sells things. And this shop owner happens to be looking for fine pearls. Maybe he's a jeweler. I don't know. But he was looking for pearls. Pearls, as you may know, come from oysters. Hopefully I've got some pictures of them up so you can see them. Some people think that oysters are yucky because they're dirty. They look like dirty rocks on the outside and they're kind of slimy on the inside. They're sort of yucky. But they can make beautiful pearls inside of them. And the people will pay a lot of money to have one of these pearls. In Jesus' story, the shop owner sells everything to buy a very valuable pearl, the most valuable pearl. Can you imagine selling everything you have to buy just one thing? All your toys, all your clothes, your bed, everything to buy one thing? Kind of hard to think about. The kingdom of heaven that Jesus talked about isn't a kingdom with castles and knights on horseback and princesses and dragons. It's a kingdom of commandments from God. Commandments telling us to be kind, telling us to be patient, telling us to be gentle. Along with wisdom, these are the things that God wants us to value more than money and power. He wants us to value honesty and fairness, and gentleness, self-control and kindness more than anything. That's what these readings are about today. Try and think of these things like treasure. Treasure is rare. It's not very common. It's very valuable. But for some people, hearing a kind word is even more rare. They don't get to hear a kind word very often. Have you ever had a day when you felt like everyone is yelling at you and you just can't do anything right? In those times, a kind word, a pat on the shoulder from a friend, or a phone call from your grandparents, or someone showing you patience might be worth more than gold or silver, maybe more than all the gold and silver in the world. Pearls may be rare and precious, but the kingdom of heaven is far more rare. There's lots of pearls in the world. Not a whole lot of the kingdom of heaven yet. There could be so little of it in the world. And because it is so rare, it is very valuable to God. He thinks it's very valuable. 
and it should be valuable to us as well. This week, do something rare and precious for someone else and give them a kind word. because I'm going to dig me for some treasure. Treasure? Dig me for some treasure. <laughs> Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Okay. You ready? some treasure to find some gold, gold and silver. You still said dig me. I kind of like that though. <laughs> no, I guess I'm going to dig me some treasure. I'm going to dig up some, I'm going to dig up some treasure. You said I'm going to dig me for some treasure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and what language are you saying? Uh, it's, I, it's not southern. That's not... What? What, are you, what are you doing here? I brought me a pick and I brought me a shovel. <laughs> And I got a lantern. I see. What are you going to do with those? I'm going to dig me some treasure. I'm going to dig up treasure with this here pick and that here shovel. And I'm going to, that, that bear shovel, that, this one right cheer. And I'm going to find me some treasure. You need to do blooper reel. Yeah. That's got to be it. Okay. Great, you're so good. Stop. Ah, thank you. Thank you.